welcome to 2011 League of Young Voters Reemergence. Thank you all for joining us here tonight. My name is Jill Barkley. I'm your MC for the evening. I hope you are enjoying the gallery hours and all of the wonderful community artists and organizations that have joined us. If you haven't had an opportunity yet to come and vote for um, your favorite cupcake, I invite you to come forward, eat a few cupcakes. There's several left, actually. I'm kind of impressed. And vote for your favorite cupcake using the Ranked Choice Voting System. This is only going to go on for about another hour, so get your sugar rush on. Okay, tonight would not be possible without many sponsors who I am now going to thank. Casco Bay Lines, Portland by Local, Planned Parenthood, the Bike Coalition of Maine, Maine Initiatives, Opportunity Maine, Portland Trails, Regional Transportation Program, Stonyfield Cafe, The Gorham Grind, Bayside Printing, Four River Gallery, Community Television, Equality Maine, Maine People's Alliance, Councilor John Anton, the Portland Democratic Delegation to Augusta, the Portland Democratic City Committee, the Maine Civil Liberties Union, the League of Women Voters, some of them I'm sure are also young. So, <laughs> thank you all to all of our wonderful sponsors. This would not be possible without you. And now we are going to have our first official performers of the evening. These individuals were a really big hit last year. The Magnolia Devi Dance Company. Not only do they dance, they also teach belly dance. And it's beautiful, it's a beautiful art. So if you are interested in learning how to do this, if you think you can, I'm interested, I don't think I can, um, you should talk to them afterwards because they are just wonderful. So um, they'll be moving around this area and they'll be up on this stage. So, you know, try not to knock them over because they're dressed very lovely and they're going to do a great job and we don't want to get in their way. So please join me in welcoming the Magnolia Debbie Dance Company.
Debbie Dance Company. Isn't that amazing? I can't believe they did that for so long. That's such a workout. Uh, if you're just joining us, welcome to the League of Young Voters 2011 Re-Emergence. We are so happy to have you here with us now. You might notice that we are starting to transition out of gallery hours into party hours. Um, so, this is your last chance to come and learn how to use ranked choice voting to elect Portland's cupcake mayor. There are a plethora of cupcakes up here, three to choose from. If you come forward, you can sample all three cupcakes, or more than three, especially if it's your birthday, and um, then you rank them. You vote for your first choice first, your second choice second, and your third choice third. Some of you may be familiar with an election that happened in Maine recently where someone won with only 39% of the vote. Now. When we elect a mayor here in Portland, we would like to make sure that that person gets at least 50% of the vote. So that's how ranked choice voting works. The ballot box for the cupcake mayor is on that table back there, the League of Young Voters. It has cupcakes on it. So fill out your ballot, give it to that box, and we're gonna make sure that the cupcake mayor is elected with at least 50% of the vote. So. If we tally the votes the first time and someone gets 50%, they win. If not, the last place finisher is eliminated. Sorry to the last place finisher in advance. And then we retally the votes and your second choice vote gets counted. You get to vote more than once. It's like a dream come true for liberals. So, um, while you're at it voting um, with ranked choice voting, um, for a cupcake mayor, you have to bring your ballot back to the table of the League of Young Voters. And while you're there, you should register to vote because there's a real vote happening with ranked choice voting in November. We're going to elect a mayor here in Portland, and it's really important that you're registered to vote. Especially because some rules around voting in Maine are, um, are, are potentially changing. So we might be requiring ID to vote. Um, we might not be able to have same-day registration for voting anymore in Maine, and we might not be able to have early voting. Those are all some voting issues that are being discussed in Augusta right now. Um, ooh, right. So, if any or all of these changes are made, it's going to be really important that you're registered to vote. So, vote for Cupcake Mayor. Thank you, Senator Alfond, for participating. Fill out your ballot, put it in that box, and while you're there, make sure you're registered to vote. It's your last chance. And soon, very, very soon, we're going to have more live entertainment, so you'll be seeing me again.